North Norfolk is blessed with remarkable beauty. Rolling countryside, endless beaches, flint-built cottages and charming seaside resorts. But this tranquility hides a dramatic and fascinating story. A story of prehistoric seas, of astonishing animals, a story that looks deep into the past of our ancient ancestors. This is the story of the Deep History Coast. So what is deep history? Put simply, deep history means that the deeper down you dig, the older things get. On the North Norfolk coast, this history is constantly being unearthed by the battering seas that eat away at our cliffs. The cliffs contain a captivating chronicle of the past, preserved in layers of rocks, sediments and soils. As the waves erode the cliffs, amazing things are washed up on the beach. If you know what you're looking for, they can take you on an unbelievable adventure. Let's dive deep into the past, when the oldest and deepest layers were formed down into the tropical seas of 70 to 100 million years ago. We are now so far back in time that Norfolk is underwater and giant reptiles still rule the seas. This prehistoric scene may seem like another world, but today, just strolling along our beaches, you can still find evidence of animals that lived in these times. The teeth of long, dead reptiles. Large numbers of fossilised belemnites and sea urchins. Some of them from 100 million years ago. The biggest relic from this time, the Norfolk Chalk Reef, was created by one of the smallest living things. Chalk was made over millions of years from the remains of tiny, ancient algae. It now forms a reef over 20 miles long, the largest reef in Europe. Whilst fishermen have been aware of the reef for generations, it was only in 2010 that local divers revealed how big and special it really is. This hidden wonder lies just off the shore and is an internationally important habitat. It teems with marine life, including the famous Chroma Crab. So what other deep history can we find? Let's go back again. This time to about two million years ago. This area was still covered by water, but now the fossil remains show that the climate was getting colder. Bones from ancient cold water fish, dolphins, and even narwhals have all been found on the beach. The cooling seas mark the beginning of a time commonly referred to as the Ice Ages, when the temperature of the Earth swung dramatically up and down. In the colder periods, the land and sea were a wasteland covered with huge ice sheets. During warmer times, this area was bursting with life. Let's look at one of these warmer periods, a mere one million years ago. Ancient Norfolk had now become dry land, with trees and plants similar to those here today. But some of the inhabitants were very different. Instead of farm animals, we see steppe mammoth and hippo, large carnivores such as lions and hyenas, and enormous deer. <laughs> and they really were enormous. Although similar animals exist today, these Ice Age versions were huge by comparison. And it wasn't just the deer that were big. The West Runton Mammoth, found in 1990, would have weighed 10 tons, twice the weight of a modern elephant, 
it is the oldest and largest nearly complete mammoth skeleton ever found in the UK. In fact, North Norfolk has produced finds so important that there is even a time period named after Cromer, the Cromerian stage. Throughout the Ice Ages, whenever the temperatures plunged, the wintry ice sheets returned and the animals that lived here either died out or migrated south. Tens of thousands of years later, as the world warmed, the descendants of these animals would roam north, re-inhabiting the landscape. During some of these migrations, other strange creatures came north too. These animals were different. They used tools, walked on two legs, and would change the world forever. A lot of what we now know about these ancient versions of ourselves has come from studying the deep history coast. We used to think that humankind appeared in Britain around half a million years ago. However, stone tools discovered at Haysborough show that humans have been here for nearly twice as long, closer to a million years ago. This makes the Haysborough foreshore the earliest archaeological site in Northern Europe. And there's more. Spring storms have revealed wonderful sets of footprints preserved in beds of solidified mud. The oldest human footprints ever found outside Africa. These prints would have been made by early humans walking across the mud of an ancient estuary. Remarkably, Norfolk is also the only place in Northern Europe to have evidence of four different human species. Pioneer man, the earliest inhabitants. Heidelberg man, who half a million years ago left behind the famous Haysborough hand axe. Neanderthals, who lived in Norfolk nearly 60,000 years ago. <laughs> and modern humans. Uh? For the final stop on our adventure, we need to look out to sea. Less than 12,000 years ago, instead of water, you would have seen woodland and open countryside. A fertile plain inhabited by humans hunting mammoth, deer and bison. This vast lost land has since been named Doggerland and once joined the British Isles to mainland Europe. So where did it go? The melting of the last great ice sheets released rivers of water that submerged Doggerland. Some of this flooding happened gradually, but there is also evidence of at least one large sudden delta. The bones of long dead creatures have been regularly dredged up in fishing nets. And recently, divers have filmed the remains of a preserved forest just off the coast, revealing glimpses of this rural Atlantis. North Norfolk is a truly fascinating place. A place where we can walk in the footsteps of our ancient ancestors where more than 20,000 fossils are found on the beaches each year, where mega-beasts once roamed. And there is still much more to discover. Many important finds have been made by ordinary members of the public. So why not plan your own adventure into the past? You never know. Something that you see or find could change the story again. Every year, with every fresh tide, we can add to our understanding of this unique place. A place that is constantly rewriting history. Our very special Deep History Coast. <laughs>